Hi guys, just wanted to do a quick review on the Clockwork 1 Afterburner on the Voron 2.4. Uh, this is my new printer, but I'm, I'm talking about the, um, the old one. So anyway, one thing, uh, with ABS, you don't need, you pretty much need no part cooling. So my prints are come out really good. Um, I was having some trouble, Petri works also really good, uh, not too much cooling. I was actually having trouble speeding up TPU uh, because when I do even 45 degree angle, if I go too fast, the filament doesn't cool enough. And I thought this was a, for some reason, I thought this was a 5015 fan, but it wasn't. It's a 40, is that a 4015 fan? So the part cooling is just not there for materials that need some cooling, especially if you want to print fast. I mean, you can still print way faster than like a Prusa, but. I found out once I started pushing the limits, uh, I wanted to print out. It, it's it wouldn't print the angles, and it would just sort of sag. So if I, you know, with even with my Prusa, I could speed it up because there's the fan cooling. But and also the the uh, what is it? The fan uh, part cooling fan is actually. It's, it, it doesn't work correctly. When you speed it up, what happens is the, what I feel like is happening is actually the vortex is going into the wrong parts on the part. It's, it's basically blowing air um, towards the prints in the wrong di direction. And I think that's causing my problems with TPU. So I have ordered the new motor that I made Bro, this thing is in the way. Um, I ordered the new parts I need uh, for the stealth burner. So stealth burner should fix all that problems and also the filament path is better for TPU. I haven't had issues with TPU with filament path. Um, I have issues with cooling. So right now I'm just using my Prusas to print TPU. So definitely if you're gonna print um, anything that requires a lot of cooling, um, anything other than like ABS, Petri, if you're printing like PLA, printing TPU, I mean if you want to print it fast, if you want to, if you print it slow it doesn't really matter, you, you can print it flawless, but we're building this printer so we can print it pretty fast, so um, yeah that's just my review on the afterburner, it, it doesn't suck or anything, it's great, but if you want to push the limits, this fan itself is just not powerful, and also the the fan path. Uh, if it starts blowing, if once you get above like 60, 70 percent, it starts you know blowing into the parts where it, it affects the line. Um, let me show you actually. So I can print fine at 240. And it prints these uh, 45 degree angles on, on the ch um, sh chamf campers, chamfers. Ah, focus. Right, um, there we go. But if I print out 250, it starts sacking. And then I put the fan 100%, and look what it does to the layers. It sags, and it, it just, it's just, I think it's a flawed design as far as using the PARF cooling fan all the way. And also it's not powerful enough. So stealth burner is supposed to fix all that. And I guess that's why everybody moving to, to that, but I just realized that now. So I'm just telling you, um, <laughs> if you're not printing like high temp parts that don't need a lot of cooling like ABS, uh, you'll definitely want to go with stealth burner. We're going to upgrade, upgrade to it later. And also it does come with a smaller pan, smaller motor, less weight, but more torque. So everything good about I guess the Voron team is actually going to add this to the Voron 2.4 officially eventually. Um, but you can get it now, so I'm upgrading to that. Uh, that will be my next upgrade for my Vorons. I, you know, This one, I'm just going to build it because I'm, or, I'm making tutorials. And um, that way, you know, people can build a printer. And it's upgraded easy. The good thing with Voron is uh, it's designed so you can take the hot end out and switch it really easy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a great day. Bye.